Hello everyone. Today we will discuss one important topic in gymnosperms that is economic importance of gymnosperms. So let's start. So this slide shows various uses of gymnosperms. So mostly gymnosperms are used as wood. Then you know, some gymnosperms are used as food for human beings. And uh, we obtain certain products like resins, rosins, essential oils, paper, and uh, some gymnosperms are used as an for ornamental purposes. And some gymnosperms produce certain chemical substances which are used as a medicine to cure various diseases. So firstly, there are many gymnospe gymnosperms which are the source of superior quality wood that is used for making furniture, railway tracks or buildings. So we obtain this timber wood from gymnosperms and we have one classical example that is citrus silara. It produces superior quality Indian timber wood and it is mostly this tree is mostly found in temperate regions of India. So these are the logs of this uh, pine uh, citrus theodara and it produces the superior quality wood and this wood is scented due to the presence of certain essential oils and it is resistant to the insect or pest or we can say fungal attack. So these are the trees of citrus theodara. So these, this tree produces best quality Indian timber wood and wood is scented and is resistant to insects and fungal attack uh, because this wood contains various essential oils or which essential oils or resins and they prevent the action of these insects and fungal attack and this wood is superior quality wood it is uh, used for making superior quality furniture uh, which has long life and they are, this wood is also used for making railway sleepers and also for the construction of buildings. Next, uh, we have Pinus roxburghi. Its wood is used for the construction of buildings, making furniture uh, and making tea chess. It is also used in match industry. Uh, to make some uh, sport goods and musical instruments. This is the photograph of this Pinus Roxburghi. Then we have Pinus Valikiana, commonly known as Gal. It is also known as Blue Pine. It is used for the preparation of trucks body. This is the photograph which shows this Pinus Valikiana. Next is Juniperus excelsa and Juniperus Virgiana. It is used for making pencils and cigar boxes. This is the photograph of Juniperus Virgiana. Next is Spicea Samithiana and Larix Griftiana. These are used for making railway sleepers. And this is the photograph of Spicea Samithiana. Next is Abyss Spindro and Abyss Spectabilis. Its wood is used for making sleepers and uh, furniture and slanting roofs of the houses and hills. In hilly regions, and this is the photograph which shows this Abyss Spindro. Next is Suga Canadensis. It is, it is used for making sh building shingles. And this is the photograph of the Suga Canadensis. Source of food items. Uh, we have cycads that are a good source of starch. And one of the famous items which is obtained from the cycus is Sago. It is also known as Sabudana. And it is made by using starch which is extracted from the pith and cortex of cycus stem uh, or cycus ki jo species is mein use ki jati, that is cycus revoluta and cycus rumphoi and this is the dish which is prepared by using the starch next uh, there are some uh, uh, gymnosperms jinke seed ka starch use ki jati for the preparation of food items we have an example like cycus rumphoi and dione edule so in case seeds use ki jati starch ko extract karne ke liye Next, we have one famous example that is Pinus girardiana, commonly known as Chilgoza pine. Iske jo seeds hote hai, these are edible and are commonly known as Chilgoza. And this is the photograph which shows these dry fruits, this Chilgoza. In Himachal, uh, these uh, plants are found in, these trees are found in the Kinnor region. 
Next is kafir bread. It is a type of bread which is prepared from the stem pith of Encephalorotus. Then there are many areas of the world in which cycus leaves are cooked and they are used as a vegetables. And uh, the seeds of Netum. Netum is also a gymnosperm which is seeds which are edible. Hote so these seeds are also edible. So these are some gymnosperms which are used as a food. So one important chemical uh, exudate which is obtained from coniferous plant is resin. This is a transparent exudate which is coniferous plants spread. Karte so it is a plant exudate of conifers that makes the wood resistant to decay. This is the wood hai, wo resistant to decay. Uh, there are various types of resins. First is turpentine. This uh, resin is obtained from various species of pinus like pinus roxburghi, pinus insularis, pinus valikiana and pinus contorta. So this transparent liquid substance is known as resin and it is collected by making incision on stem. Stem ke upar chote chote incisions ke aate hain aur isko fir collect ke aata hai kisi ek uh, metallic ball ya fir plastic uh, ke uh, packets mein. And this resin is collected and uh, is uh, processed in the factories to make various varnishes, paints or any other uh, materials. So it is a clear liquid with a pungent odor and bitter taste and primarily a series of volatile non-terpenes. So this resin is a clear liquid which is a pungent odor and bitter taste is primarily very volatile terpenes present. Hota hai. So it is mostly used in pharmaceuticals making gums and synthetic resin paints, varnishes, lacquers and products furniture, insecticide and disinfectant. So these are the items which are prepared by using this resin. Next are rosins. So these are hard, hard resin ki substances hai, which are commonly known as rosins. So these are the major products obtained from pine resin. Pine resin ke hi product hai ye. And these are involatile. These are volatile nahi hote hai, or involatile residues that remain after the distillation of turpentine. Jo distillation ke baad hi hai. So it is non volatile, uh, non volatile substance which is known as rosin. So these are brittle, transparent, glossy, solid, insoluble in water, but soluble in number of organic solvent. So ye brittle hote hai, transparent hai, jaisa ki hum is photograph mein dekh sakte hai, glossy, solid hai, insoluble in water, but they are soluble in many organic solvents. And these are used for make, uh, making soaps, papers, paints, varnishes adhesives and printing ink and rubber so ye sari cheeze hain rosin se banai jati next is canada balsam it is a glue which is used for mounting various uh, materials plant or animal material uh, during the preparation of slide and this is the plant from which this is obtained so resin is obtained from abyss balsamia ये abyss balsamia का photograph है and is used as a mounting medium in biological preparations so जो permanent slides हैं they are used they are formed by using this glue like substance that is Canada balsam and it is obtained from abyss balsamia it is a transparent liquid pale yellowish green in color so एक transparent liquid है it is used as an adhesive next is burgundy pitch so it is again a resin like substance and uh, this is the resin of Picea abyss ye jo resin it is obtained from Picea abyss and used for the preparation of chew, uh, chewing gum and uh, also checks the toothache and headache so this is the plant Picea abyss next is Sandrac so uh, ye bhi resin ki tarah hi substance hai which is obtained hota hai, uh, from the species of Tetraclinus articulata. It is also a synonym is Calitris quadrivalis. So, this plant is resin se obtained from resin. So, it is the resin obtained by making incisions on the trunk and branches. Branches or trunk may incisions uh, injuries and collect a 
मेटालिक बाउल या फिर प्लास्टिक के पैकेट्स में इट इज़ यूज फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग फाइन लेकर वार्निशेज की तरह जो केमिकल्स होते हैं पेंट्स की तरह सो ऐसे सब्सटेंसेस को लेकर बोलते हैं एंड दीज आर ऑल्सो यूज फॉर द प्रेपरेशन ऑफ वार्निश एंड फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड दिस इज द फोटोग्राफ ऑफ दिस कैलिट्रिस क्वाड्री वैलिस एंड दीज आर द वार्निशेज और लेकर प्रिपेयर बाई यूजिंग दिस सेंड रैक नेक्स्ट इज मनीला कोपाल इट इज अगेन द रेजिन सॉलिड रेजिन सो इट इज द रेजिन ऑफ अगैथिस कॉमनली नोन एज कॉरी पाइन एंड ऑल्सो नोन एज मनीला कोपाल कोपाल डैमर भी कहा था इसको एंड कॉरी गम भी कहा था एंड दिस इज द फोटोग्राफ ऑफ दिस ट्री अगैथिस इट इज अ वाइट टू येलो टू डार्क ब्राउन इन कलर जो ये रेजिन है इसका कलर वाइट टू येलो हो सकता है और डार्क ब्राउन इन कलर and it is used for making varnishes uh, for label on food tins color prints and an ingredient of paint lines on roads and flexes so in sabhi cheezon mein iska uh, use kiya jata hai next important uh, this resinous substance obtained from this gymnosperm is amber ye ek fossilized resin hai so this is the uh, picture which shows this amber It is a fossil resin and is obtained from Pinus succinifera. So, ये Pinus succinifera से प्रोड्यूस होता है Amber और resinite भी कहते हैं इसको कंजिस्ट ऑफ सॉलिड डिस्क्रीट ऑर्गेनिक मटेरियल ड्राइव फ्राम रेजिन ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड इट्स इट इज़ यूनिक बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स एक्सेप्शनल प्रिजर्वेशन ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म विद इन इट सो ये एक प्रिजर्वेटिव की तरह काम करता है इसके अंदर बहुत सारे फॉसिलाइज इंसेक्ट्स भी मिले हैं It is used for making jewelry, pipes, and cigar holders. Uh, so, in these things, maybe it is used. Kya hai. This is the photograph which shows this amber, a fossilized resin, which is in which insects are, as it is preserved, are there. It is also used for making jewelry. Next comes essential oils. So, these are some volatile oils which are produced by the gymnosperms. These are obtained from Juniperus virginiana, that is commonly known as red cedar wood. Then Cedrus deodara, Cupressus semper sempervirens, Suga canadensis, Picea glauca, and Cryptomeria. So these are some gymnosperms which produces these essential oils, and these are used as air freshener, then room spray, and they are also used for the manufacturing of disinfectants and scents in soaps and cosmetics. So red cedar wood oil is used for oil emulsion immersion. लेंसेज एंड क्लियरिंग माइक्रोस्कोपिक प्रेपरेशंस सो ये जो रेड सिडार वुड ऑयल है इसको हम लेंस इमर्शंस ऑयल की तरह यूज करते हैं दे आर ऑल्सो यूज फॉर क्लियरिंग माइक्रोस्कोपिक प्रेपरेशंस सो दीज आर सम एसेंशियल ऑयल्स विच आर प्रोड्यूस फ्राम दीज जिम्नोस्पम्स नेक्स्ट कम्स पेपर सो जिम्नोस्पम्स आर गुड सोर्स ऑफ पेपर सो दिस पल्प ऑफ जिम्नोस्पम स्टेम इज यूज फॉर द प्रेपरेशन ऑफ पेपर्स सो दीज आर प्रिपेयर फ्राम द वुड पल्प ऑफ एबिस पिंड्रो एबिस बालसेमिया क्रिप्टोमेरिया जेपोनिका नीटम निमोन पाइसिया समिथियाना एंड पाइनस रॉक्स वगाय सो दीज आर सम एग्जाम्पल्स फ्राम विच वी कैन अपटेन पेपर बाई यूजिंग इट्स पल्प दैन वी हैव वन क्राफ्ट पेपर विच इज मेड फ्राम द पल्प ऑफ स्पेसिफिक प्लांट दैट इज क्रिप्टोमेरिया जेपोनिका सो क्राफ्ट पेपर इज मेड फ्राम दिस जिम्नोस्पा क्रिप्टोमेरिया जेपोनिका these are some industries paper industry which use the pulp of this uh, these gymnosperms for the preparation of papers and this is the craft paper which is produced by cryptomeria japonica next comes medicinal uses so one of the famous medicine is ephedrine which is obtained from the species of ephedra and it is used for the treatment of respiratory ailments like asthma then decoction from the roots of ephedra gerardiana is used as a remedy for rheumatism and syphilis so jo decoction prepare kiya jata hai roots of ephedra gerardiana say that is used to treat rheumatism and syphilis then we have one chemical substance that is texol which is obtained from texas baketa and it has anti cancerous properties and it is used for the, uh, the treatment of cancer then we have turpentines which are obtained from cedrus theodara 
so this uh, turpentine or we can say uh, this chemical is used to treat ulcer and skin diseases then we have decoction which is prepared by using dried leaf of abyspindro jo abyspindro hai uski dried leaf ko as a decoction use karte hain to uh, treat cough then there are many seed oils for example we have pinus gerardiana iska jo seed oil hai that is used for dressing wounds jo injuries hain injuries ko uh, repair karne mein iska seed oil use kiya jata hai pinus gerardiana ka then there are many leaf extract like that of ginkgo it is used as a good brain and heart tonic so ye jo leaves hain leaf ka extract hai ginkgo ka it is used for uh, used as a tonic for, for brain and heart so this is the fedrin which is used to treat some respiratory disorders so gymnosperm have has also a sacred use for the religious purposes so there is median hair tree commonly known as uh, ginkgo or jingo biloba it is grown in the courtyard of temples of china and japan so this is the uh, monastery buddhist monastery or uh, ye jo tree hai this is ginkgo biloba commonly known as median hair tree gymnosperms are also used for the beautification of campuses so these are also grown as ornamental tree uh, plants <coughs> many gymnosperms are grown as ornamental plants uh, for example we have cycas it is used as a leafy ornamental tree and then we have zamia zamia pygmaea is the smallest gymnosperm it is also used as a leafy ornamental plant then we have araucaria which is commonly known as avenue tree or monkey puzzle tree this is also known as christmas tree then we have thujja which is a small beautiful shrub <clears throat> then we have podocarpus a small tree then juniperus it is a small tree uh, used for beautification and it is also grown as bonsai so bonsai is a technique of growing huge trees on flowering pots by reducing their size so we have pinus which is also known as avenue tree as bonsai then ginkgo which is again a leafy ornamental sacred tree so these are some uh, gymnosperms which are used for beautification we have zamia then this thujja podocarpus ginkgo biloba araucaria and pinus so these are some trees which are grown as bonsai they are grown on the small floral pots and this technique of growing these huge trees in the floral pots is known as bonsai next other uses so gymnosperm has many other uses like their strong root system prevents soil erosion so this is a ecological role and then there are few gymnosperms which are living fossils like cycas and ginkgo and they provide important scientific knowledge about the past flora on earth so these are the last representative of their group so that's why these are known as living fossil or ye hame important scientific knowledge provide karte hain jo past ka flora tha earth ke upar uske bare mein then the bark of nitum nimon and nitum ula is used to obtain fiber for making fishing nets and ropes so inki bark se fiber obtain kiya jata hai jo ki fishing rope uh, nets or ropes banane mein use kiya jati then there are some gymnosperms particularly conifers which are the good source of fuel wood so these are some other uses of gymnosperm and this is the photograph of nitum nimon so this was all about the economic importance of gymnosperms hope you will get some idea from this presentation if you have any questions queries and any and any suggestions you can give it in comment section thank you have a great day great day